The Yamaha Sniper has been a crowd favorite dito sa Pilipinas for many years now. It's really the bike to get kung mahil kayo sa mga underbone na sporty, agile, and performance-based. And it's also the bike to get to work on your track fundamentals. This bike is also a great daily commuter. And we finally get one today. It's the Yamaha Sniper 155R in this episode of Beyond the Ride. The bike is powered by a 155cc liquid-cooled four-stroke single overhead cam four-valve single-cylinder engine that punches out 17.8 horsepower and 14.4 newton meters of torque. Stopping power, you get discs up front and back with Nissan calipers. However, unfortunately, wala pang ABS. Keeping bumps at bay, you get a telescopic fork up front and a suspension swing arm for the rear. The front tire is 90 by 80, while the rear is 120 by 70. And yes, they are tubeless. You get LEDs front and back, and these also have daytime running lights. When you look at the bike from the front, para siyang bigger sport bikes ng Yamaha. Ka Kawig niya yung R1, which tells you that this little underbone means business. The rest of the bike is very angular, very sporty, which is not really my preference. But I know a lot of people who love this look. The Sniper is loaded with lots of stuff. Ito lang yata yung underbone na may slipper clutch. My hazard lights na din siya. Of course, a 12 volt socket para sa mga gadgets natin. The R variant, which is this one, has a keyless system. The standard one doesn't. Pero mas trip ko talaga yung disuse. It has a full LCD multifunction instrument panel which displays the speedometer, tachometer, gear indicator, VVA indicator, at iba pa. Kitang kita siya even under direct sunlight. Now, through the years, the 150, the old version of this, was the king. And the, the new version, or at least the newer version, which is this one, there are some differences. And who better to talk about that than a racing champion, Kyle Paz. Simula po nung nagre-race pa po ako ng 150, pinag-aralo ko po talaga na gusto yung engine niya para kada karera, kabisado ko na po yung motor. Kaya ramdam na ramdam ko po yung pagkakaiba nitong Sniper 155, lalong lalo na po yung engine. At saka mas pinaganda po ng gusto, yung aerodynamics. If you're not familiar with Kyle Paz, he was using the Sniper 150 when he was the overall champion of the Underbone 150cc category of the Asia Road Racing Championship in 2019. Pagkatapos noon, he was discovered by the VR46 Master Camp and has been racing sport bikes in Europe in Moto2 for the VR46 Junior Team. Now, VR46 is owned by legendary racer Valentino Rossi. Moto2 is just a level below MotoGP. That just shows you that this little underbone has racing DNA. It's a great bike to have to hone your skills on the racetrack to work from something this small to racing bigger sport bikes, just like Kyle Paz did. Now, I want to stress something. I said racetrack. Not the road, not Marilake or any other road in the Philippines, race track. The fuel tank capacity is 5.4 liters and that is underneath the seat right here. By the way, there is no compartments here. It's basically, yeah, basically your pockets that you have uh, when you're riding around on this bike. And you can get about 45 kilometers per liter, which is pretty good. The wet weight of the bike is 121 kilograms, which I honestly think is a little bit heavier, at least more than I thought it would be. The ground clearance is 150 millimeters and the seat height is 795 millimeters, which is very Pinoy friendly. I am five foot six with a 794 millimeter inseam. And there you go. That's your situation. Let's do a quick sound test. Comfortable yung seating position. It's not too aggressive. Actually, tamang tama lang siya. The power delivery is really good. Napaka smooth siya sa, sa low RPM. And when you open her up, 
you feel the extra boost of power at higher RPM. That's of course thanks to the VVA or the variable valve actuation. I'm really impressed that this bike has a slipper clutch and it does work really well. Surprise range, you don't really see a slipper clutch. Medyo surprised din ako with the feel of this bike. Considering na medyo sanay na ako sa big bikes, this little machine is so zippy and fun to use. I can see where the racing DNA comes from. It's so easy to use this around the city. Napakadali, a filter with good turning rages, and of course, magaan din siya. Yung mga maxi scooters, of course, is still probably more useful sa city for daily use. Because, well, twist and go lang mga yon, and they have storage space. This one, you'll need to put a top box or carry a backpack to put your stuff in. Kasi talaga walang lugar for anything to put on the bike whatsoever. But the sniper is more fun than most maxi scooters with a similar displacement. And partly because it does feel like a motorcycle because of course my clutch na rin siya. So it's something that you can probably get used to if you're planning to move up to bigger bikes. The Aerox and NMAX are kind of like parang mini SUV, parang RAV4 or kaya CRV. My storage space and it's easy to use. This the Sniper, it's a mini sports car. It's an older Miata or something like that. I really think that it's possible for beginner riders. And it's good if you plan to move to bigger displacement bikes, like I said, or if you're planning to master your skills on the, on the racetrack, I think this is such a good bike to start using before moving up to bigger uh, displacement motorcycles. I really do like this little bike. It's a lot more fun to use than I had originally thought it would be. And of course, matipin siya sa gas, plus you have the Yamaha reliability. So if your goal is to get to big bikes or get bigger sport bikes or stuff like that, I think this is probably a better option to start riding, the, uh, start getting into the world of two wheels than a scooter. So that's, that's because you have to learn how to use the clutch, you have to learn how to shift gears and stuff like that. So if your goal is to really be good on the racetrack or to be able to ride bigger uh, displacement, uh, any type of the bigger displacement motorcycles, this is a better place to start than the small displacement scooters because you're gonna get used to um, changing gears early on. I mean, think about it. If it worked for Kyle Paz, maybe it will work for you. So in conclusion, para sa akin, mas okay pa din yung NMAX or if you want something a little bit more sporty, yung Aerox for daily commuting, yung pang araw-araw. However, the Sniper is a whole lot more fun. So, ano mas trip nyo? Yung practicality or yung fun? Now, if you answer fun, then the Sniper 155R can be yours for a price tag of 120,900 Philippine pesos. For more information about this bike and other MCs out there, log on to www.motodeal.com.ph. This has been Gene Rafino. Hope you guys enjoyed going beyond the ride.